Children's Miracle Network Hospitals is celebrating 30 years of providing hope and healing for millions of kids across North America. Joining us are Marie Osmond, Rachel Ray, and from the TV series, The Doctors, Dr. Travis Stork. But first, here's our host and co-founder of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, John Schneider. Who is Children's Miracle Network Hospitals? Well, chances are you already know us. We work behind the scenes to raise money for children's hospitals. You've probably donated by buying one of these. You've probably watched our telethon or you've been driving in your car and listening to a radiothon. You've donated money to our hospitals through sponsor fundraisers. And let's face it, everybody knows a child who's been treated at a children's hospital. But did you know that miracle balloons are sold at 30,000 locations around North America? Did you know that Children's Miracle Network Hospitals has nearly 500 TV and radio station partners raising funds for millions of kids each and every year? There are thousands of events and grassroots fundraisers near you that happen for your Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Over $3.6 billion has been raised since Children's Miracle Network Hospitals began more than 28 years ago. And most of that money was raised a dollar at a time by people just like you. There are 170 Children's Miracle Network hospitals across the U.S. and Canada, serving all 50 states and in every Canadian province. And you can just bet there's a Children's Miracle Network hospital near you. And chances are, a child in your life, maybe even your own child, will need the specialized care of a children's hospital. Consider this, in just one day, 200 children will visit the emergency room. The average cost, $423. 32 children will receive cancer treatments for an average cost of $75,000. Eight children will be treated for heart problems. The cost to repair a heart valve in a child is about $65,000. Four children will be admitted after a serious injury or an illness. The average cost of a child's hospital stay is $7,500. Now imagine being confronted with those kinds of costs. And yet, without specialized treatment, well, nobody really wants to think about the lives that could be lost. You see, we're all about saving lives, saving children in your community, saving children that need a miracle, saving children that need a Children's Miracle Network Hospital. You know, it's not unusual for a kid to catch a cold or scrape a knee or complain of a headache, but for beautiful 14-year-old Jenny, her headaches turned out to be symptoms of something extremely serious. When her headaches became too much to bear, Jenny was taken to her children's hospital. Just 11 hours later, Jenny was undergoing surgery to remove a brain tumor. And if that wasn't enough, during the surgery, doctors encountered another complication. Jenny had suffered with headaches for about a year on and off. Our doctor really was at a loss. So we went to the ER and that doctor said, so no one's done a CAT scan? And we said, no, ma'am. She didn't have to point it out. We could see there's a massive growth in her head. But we knew it was not good. At that moment, I still when, <laughs> uh, when I think of that moment, I still get that. It's just. And we drove over to Children's Women's Hospital in Mobile, Alabama. Our neurosurgeon, he said, I believe this is a cerebellar astrocytoma, which in adolescence, the outcome is favorable and typically benign. That is where her complications came in, because she had developed a huge blood clot. She did have a longer recovery than initially expected, but, you know, that's where she proved that she was a champion. The blood clot was like a stroke, and so she had to relearn to walk and talk, write, and do, you know, everything with her dominant right hand. OT and PT told us, you know, I know it's hard to watch her struggle to do things, but you've got to let her. Now I have an amazing story to tell, and then I'm proud to say that I had a brain tumor 
and I made it through this and now I'm a different person and it's changed my life in such a positive way. Caregivers with years of experience were there when Jenny needed them. Her local Children's Miracle Network Hospital provided her with everything she needed to make a full recovery. From neurosurgeons to physical therapists to child life specialists, they all did their part in helping Jenny and her whole family heal. Today, with her trademark red hair and her infectious smile, you would never know that Jenny had to literally relearn to walk, relearn to feed herself, and to conquer many of life's simple little tasks that we all take for granted. Nicknamed, and appropriately so, a rock star by one of her nurses, today, Jenny is very active in high school and says that she actually wouldn't trade the medical challenges that she's experienced for the world. Unfortunately, there are so many children across North America who, like Jenny, are facing a scary diagnosis. They all rely on a positive outlook and an expert medical team, the medical care they need to get them through. Luckily, there's a Children's Miracle Network Hospital close to you that is helping these children. These hospitals need your help. You have to call the number on your screen and make a donation, if you can, right now. Or go to cmnhospitals.org and donate directly to your local Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Max had his first surgery when he was three days old. He's had holes in his heart repaired. He's overcome a lung collapse. But there is hope in Max's eyes. It's a real miracle. When your child needs help, there's a Children's Miracle Network hospital nearby. Join Costco and support your Children's Miracle Network hospital. Hospitals helping local kids. Even the healthiest of children sometimes end up at a children's hospital emergency room because of unintentional injuries. Nearly 25% of children, more than 39,000 each day, will sustain an injury serious enough to require medical attention, miss school, or bed rest. In fact, unintentional injuries are the leading cause of death for children ages 1 through 14. In addition to helping children while they're in the hospital, Children's Miracle Network hospitals keep millions of kids out of the hospital each and every year. That's why Children's Miracle Network hospitals partner with schools and with businesses to hold health fairs, clinics, and programs that teach safer health practices. Children's hospitals teach CPR, run car seat safety checks, and bike helmet programs, and they educate lawmakers about how small changes in laws can save the lives of children. All this work is making a difference and many of these programs are funded by donations from people like you. Because one way to help a child is to help them stay healthy and out of the hospital in the first place. You can help right now. Donate now. Call the number on your screen or go to cmnhospitals.org. Every child deserves hope and healing. Specialized care. You'll be all right. 170 hospitals. Strong. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. There's Take one near you. They all need your support. Way to go. Come on. Join Marriott and support Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Helping local kids. Hope is a rising feeling. The yearning to make the world a better place for children. Hope is found wherever you see the Children's Miracle Network Hospital's balloon. Wow. For 30 years, and because of your support, they've given hope to kids who need it most. Make an epic difference and support those who support your Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Partnering with Epic in theaters May 24th. Hopefully your children will never need to spend time in a hospital, but you never know. You never know when someone you love will be hurt or become so sick they need very specialized care at one of these remarkable children's hospitals. The Gilhul family had two healthy young boys. It was a normal day. The kids were playing upstairs and then something happened that nobody expected. In an instant, their hope for the future crashed to the ground. Daddy! 
<laughs> it was August 18th, a beautiful Saturday. Oh, yeah. So I decided, let's go around and open the windows. And I was ready to cut the grass, so my wife was getting the kids together. I walk out and I see Gavin and Patrick are by the window. And that's when it happened. The window was not even open for more than 30 seconds. And so as I walked out through here, I saw Patrick, my second one, looking at me with this puzzled face, and I saw the screen was blown off of that window. And I knew that Gavin fell. And at that split second, I hear my husband scream, 911, he's out the window. And I saw Gavin in a fetal position. So I got down on my knees, and I just had his head, and I just cradled him, and I just said, hey, buddy, how you doing? When I was looking at him, I saw this, this there was cerebral spinal fluid, the white, clear fluid coming out of his ear. And I knew this was bad. I knew this was, this was bad. My wife looked out the window and she goes, is he dead? And I said, not yet. But I thought he was. I thought he was going concerned that he wasn't going to survive. We tell the parents everything. There's no reason to paint a rosy picture or a bleak picture. They hear what we're thinking. While we never take hope away, we want to make sure that, that they understand the reality of the situation. 11 days. 11 days he was in a coma. They saved his life. Now what happens from there is Gavin. doing is holding Gavin's hand, sitting on the side of his bed, and I would just hope that he could hear me. Yeah, and it would get him to wake up and, and open his eyes. They had told me, go and get some regular clothes for Gavin so that we can get him out of his, uh, his gown. And I said, Gavin, mommy has these blue shorts on you, but I have a blue shirt and I have a red shirt. <laughs> he looks at me and he does this. And my eyes just bug out. I went, you want to wear the red shirt? And he went, and I went, yeah! I'm so proud of you. to happen, and I got one. Gavin. Imagine that Gavin was your son. What would you do to keep him alive? His life was nearly lost in an instant. But this is your moment, your chance to help a child just like Gavin, who's in the hospital right now. Countless children each year need the specialized care found only at a children's hospital. Because of the 170 Children's Miracle Network hospitals treat millions of kids each year, it's likely there's a child in your life that will one day need the hope and healing of a children's hospital. These kids aren't just in faraway countries or from opposite sides of the nation. They're in our communities, they're our neighbors, and maybe even our very own children. Help us save children's lives and make sure that the Children's Miracle Network hospitals are here for many years and many children to come. Please call now. Donate now. Help make miracles for children. Call the number on your screen or go to cmnhospitals.org.